Hi guys, Neff here, and this is Forewarned. So from what I can understand, this is basically another game similar to Phasmophobia, but instead of going around haunted houses and castles, you instead go around an Egyptian tomb, I believe. And I, I think the objective is that you need to steal a relic, but in order to get to the relic, you need to identify what type of spirit or entity is chasing you. So these are the items that we can use. So we've got hard hat, smartwatch to communicate with our team, the camera, flashlight, torch, lighter, radar system. This advanced seismic radar technology can map out tunnels, sync with your team's smartwatches and detect movement. A compass which can detect magnetic distortions. Geiger counter, radioactive signatures, metal detector. So it can also discover treasure, traps, hidden buttons, and the metallic signatures caused by the Magi Sars form. So I guess this is one of the, the entities that we might come across. Handheld radio can also be used as a sound source to distract or lure. The tablet, so that's for camera equipment. Radar sensor will alert you of movement once you've placed it. A Hecker amulet. You can almost hear whispers of anguish within, yet holding this close seems to provide some protection. And then the remaining three are out of stock. So we've got Divining Rod, TNT, and a Hyro Lens. Through its gaze, this lens allows even the most cryptic of hieroglyphics to be translated on the fly. Okay, so that's the Archeo Bay. What is the lore view? Okay, so we obviously unlock lore as we go but we need to pay 25 gold to transcribe. The recent reports of new structures appearing for the first time across the Sahara are intriguing. The coordinates of the various sites seem to correspond to the ancient Egyptian legends of the cursed Magi. Imagine the historical and monetary value of finding the Magi's relics. I'm sure those stories were just myths anyway. Hmm. So how do I actually get started? This is the bathroom. Ever since losing John on that last excavation, Matt's never been the same. He locks himself in the bathroom for hours, sometimes muttering incoherently. Occasionally we hear him whistling a tune that reminds him of better days. Oh god. Oh! Okay, hang on. I can see those feet in the background, that's very disconcerting. Um, what the fuck is wrong with this model? Jesus. So you can see the feet under the door. Anywho. Okay, let me post a room. I'll do it on normal map size medium, I guess. Okay. So there's my van. Can I just leave? Okay. So this is my tent with all of my equipment. Is there a limit to how much I can hold? There is, I can hold three things. Um. I don't know what I need to put there. Jesus. Oh, okay. Retrieve the relic of the Magi. Optional objectives. Gold piles collected. Lore pages gathered. Hmm. Okay. What the hell do I do with this? Oh, so this is the t entire layout of the map.
Okay, you know what? I'm just going to go in and uh, see what happens. How do I... There we go. Okay, let's go. Can I like this? Oh, nice. So I'm just going to wander around and have a look. I'll probably die pretty quickly, but ooh. Hi. I'm not going to flick that switch just yet because I'm not sure what it does. So I'm just going to have a look around. Is it still coming? Good lord. Uh oh. Uh oh. Where? Run. Uh, okay. That was just a complete loop I did. Well, this is some Indiana Jones bullshit right here. Okay. Ooh. Hi. So I believe the relic is behind this door, but you need to select out of these four options of the type of entity it can be. Don't know what these do. Research. Evidence. Destruction. Extinguished flames. Reanimation. Magnetic distortion. Disturbed tombs. Tremors. Radar detection, voices, radioactivity, metallic signature, footsteps, or electronic disturbances. So this is where we would select the evidence that we found. Nope. Nope. I feel like there's not going to be too much I can do until I actually get more equipment. I feel like this table is supposed to be completely covered in stuff and it really just- it just isn't. Okay, I'm going back in. Hang on, has it turned out the lights? That's evidence, right? Extinguish lights. I'm gonna say that we have that. I don't know how I'm gonna discover most of these other things without having the uh, correct equipment. Electronic disturbances, I could get that if I take my torch. So let me drop the camera for now. See if I can get this to be interrupted. Okay. So, if I just guess this... <gasps> oh god! Oh god! Is it gone? Oh, the, the, the flame torch is so much better than the, the flashlight. Right, let me see what this does. So there's a switch in here. Oh, 
What did that do? Did that open this? I have no idea what these are doing. Oh god, what? That was footsteps, that was definite footsteps. So that's another piece of evidence. So, destruction, reanimation, magnetic distortion, voices, radar detection, tremors, disturbed tomb. I mean, that tomb is open, is that... I'm gonna say that the tomb being open in that room just down here is a sign of disturbed tomb. I don't know if that's actually what that means, but you know. So the the type of Magi we're dealing with, apparently, is potentially Rathos the Damned. So let's go put that in the door if I can even survive long enough to get there. And I don't think there's any limit on the sprint, which is really nice. Wait, what? Oh! Uh-oh! Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up! Okay. What the fuck is this? You know what, I think I'm just going to pat myself on the back for having even unlocked the door and I'm just going to get the fuck out. I'm not a greedy person. <gasps> uh oh. Okay. So now we get to the part of the game where I don't know what the fuck I'm meant to do. You? How do I open the door back up? Is it one of these? That's not doing anything. <gasps> oh, hello! Maybe it's best if I don't see. Oh, hi! You're a proper little mummy! Oh, he's kind of cute! Light, please. Thank you. Hello? Oh. I'm pillaging. Um, I want to leave now, please. Did the mummy just give up on me? Why did he stop chasing me? Where is he? This feels like it's a trap. Oh? think I wouldn't notice. Hello? Run! Oh god, oh fuck, what? What? Oh my greed. You should have been a warning sign. gonna go now? Okay. Oh god. What? What does that noise mean? Oh 
Ooh, this might be... Hello? Okay, that did something. I have no idea how to get back to where I started. <gasps> nope! Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh god. Well this just went from bad to worse. Is he coming? Oh please don't let me die like this. That'd be super fucking embarrassing. Okay, where did he go? Oh god. Oh. <gasps> I did it! Okay, I have my relic. Can I leave? The enemy was really cute! So I acquired the relic. Gold pass collected 4 out of 5. Law pages collected. Oh, I picked it up and then I dropped it. So I correctly guessed the Magi was a Rathos the Damned, aka a cute little mummy. My share of the loot? 179. So can I buy things now? On the Archeo Bay? Torch plus. An upgraded torch that burns for a longer duration. That might be good. Um, I can buy a Geiger counter or a compass. I'm going to buy a compass and a torch plus. Because not having to keep uh, relighting my torch constantly would probably be a good thing. So, let's go try again. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the torch, the compass, and the Geiger meter. And I'm just going to drop them near the front door. Jeez. I'll drop that. Drop that. Turn that on and then drop that. So that will tell us if there's any magnetic, radioactive or electronic disturbances. Hopefully they'll pick them up without me having to actually actively carry them. So I've played a few rounds since the first attempt and I think we get about a, say, a five minute grace period where at the start of the game the entity is just like a cloud that can't hurt you. And then after five minutes the, the main door will close and the entity will become corporeal and angry. So I think for now we're good to just explore. But we need to start getting evidence as quickly as possible. Okay, so here's the main door. So it's just to the left as we go down the stairs. Dead end. Come on. No, because I've done this before and it ended up with me getting fucking skewered or shot or something. So I'm not going through there. So what are those noises? Is 
Disturbed tomb. I think that's evidence. Please leave me alone. Pat pat. Oh fuck! Okay, yeah, so it can do some, some poke poke damage, but it can't actually kill you at this- oh god. It's all gone terribly wrong. Hi, buddy. Right. Oh, God. Okay. So we have voices. Doesn't seem like there was any electronic disturbances. Oh god. Definitely footsteps. Deckan the Lost. Okay. So the door... Is that this? So if it is... Oh good lord. Okay, so it's definitely... It seems to be turning off the lights a lot as well, so it's definitely... Magnetic distortion. So... Maybe it's not disturbed tombs? Offer us the forgotten. Let's go try that. So it was right here. So let's try office. Quick, 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 quick. So I think... I think you just hide in these. I think that's all they're here for is just to hide. I guess we'll find out if it works. Fuck. Fuck. Can't see me. Oh, is this it? I think that was it. Now I need to make it back alive. Let's pass these. Where is it? Aha! 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 Where? Where? Here? Yeah! 
I kinda... Kinda want to go back for that piece of paper. Nah, let's not push our luck. I only got 56 gold, that's really pathetic. Oh well. GG! Next I will play it on like the hardest difficulty and the biggest map size. Uh, for now this was just like a small introduction and then I'll, I'll get to the more challenging stuff later on. Thank you for watching guys. Can I change it though? Now that I've already picked- Oh my good lord! Okay, so what the hell was that? I mean, that's Tremors. Okay, no, that's definitely not Tremors. That's this guy. 